And as we mentioned, the heat is impacting schools across the area. In fact, 100 schools across uh, the area, district, the school district of Philadelphia and schools in the Chester Upland School District all had to dismiss early today because of this heat wave. And that's happening again tomorrow. Of course, this isn't the first year this has happened. That's right. So it got us asking, should school start before Labor Day? It is today's go vote. So you tell us what you think. Yes, start early and early or no, it's too hot to learn. So scan the QR code on your screen to weigh in. It's right there in that direction yeah. or go to fox29.com slash go vote and we'll have the results for you later on. All right, Jeff, you went to several schools in Chester impacted by the early dismissal today. A lot of disappointed parents and students. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it really is only the second day of school, but I do think that the schools that we saw today really tell us something. They are older schools. This is a poorer community. These schools do not have central air. So, of course, kids go home early. There's an issue of learning loss. Certainly, it does raise the issue of whether school districts, particularly older ones, should start after Labor Day, but it also raises another issue, and that is of inequality. As the temperature neared 90 in the late morning, a crowd of Chester High students floods the streets around the 50-year-old building. On the second day of classes, the heat is driving them out. How we feel out here right now, that's how we feel in the building. It's like it's a heat wave. It should not feel like that in the school. The 860 high school students were sent home at 11.30 Tuesday with a staggered release of district schools throughout the early afternoon. They'll do the same Wednesday. The superintendent says Chester High has air conditioning, but it failed, while most Chester Upland schools have none. Are you concerned that students do lose when this happens? Of course. Obviously, our, our greatest concern is to make sure that our students are ed educated you know, adequately. Um, they're to provide every, all the same opportunities that other students are provided throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. But in poorer communities, heavily relied on property taxes and state dollars to fund schools, the buildings are often hot and old. Got to fix the air problem. Yeah, are you disappointed the school's not adequately air conditioned? Yeah because my kids should be in school. It's making people pass out and have asthma attacks. There were people passing out in the school? Yes. You know, how, how did it feel to you? It's hot, like, this is ridiculous. As children emerged from the stuffy buildings, parents were there to greet them. Chester Upland is considering a post-Labor Day start, but would much rather have new, cooled schools. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna just do virtual. I won't even be going here, it's too hot. That certainly is not good news when you have a student who doesn't really want to return to the school. Interesting, the high school here does have air conditioning. They said they had four towels, towers on top there, but they failed, so they had to send kids home. It does raise the issue, of course, of learning loss. Chester Upland says they want to put AC in the schools. They're just not there yet. In Chester, Delaware County, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. All right, Jeff, thank you very much.